Hello everyone, this is Gorax. Tower mains must be excited as big changes are common. Both Darmuth and Arcane Eagle were released at the same time, with Darmuth being released two weeks ahead of the schedule. Now, I had this video ready after the live stream, but I had to record it from scratch as Eagle got updated on, t on test server where they reverted his nerve. Now his fifth skill changes Magic Bolt of Arcane Archer to deal 60% damage instead of 80 but has no cooldown. If you watched my stream, you know that I explained that they actually nerfed it to 60% damage and 3 second cooldown. The cooldown is no longer there. And this has made a significant changes to what I've tested. So basically I had to redo the test and redo the video. Now, during my initial test run in isolated environment, I, trade Ar I tried Arcane Archer with Adela, Astral, and once I received Darmif with her, you can see the performance on the bottom of your screen. The tests were done using Path of Assassin, as I was expecting Path of Assassin to outperform other emblems once Arcane Eagle gets added to the team. After that, I ran the same test with adding the Arcane Eagle to the mix. To see how much he improves, damage dealt by Arcane Archer added the additional backline damage through the additional arrows. And, as I thought, he is a great addition and synergizes well with Arcane Archer. Most of the damage done, done by the Eagle comes from Arcane Torrent skill. Both Priest and Sister on the enemy team were very close to dying in a battle against Adela, however, they did die against both Astral and Darmuth in a rather fashionable way. And I was running a plus 5 Path of Assassin set on Arcane Archer and a plus 3 Path of Assassin set on the Bird. I also run Emblem tests, which results you can see on the screen. During the bird test, I had to find out what adjutant means, and it means all the green circles around Arcane Archer, and truth to be told, I noticed that Arcane Eagle performs better in his astral body state than just jumping into enemy backline, unless there is no enemy threat that can kill him. Also, there is a weird interaction when the bird is in the open lane against enemy charges who are the lane below, they will eventually clash, and if it's against Alamar, Charger units, which is Evil Sorceress and Faceless, he will eventually die, so it's better to keep him closer to the Arcane Archer. Another change compared to the Chinese version is that Bird has no energy bar, and I've been told by the dev that it is going to stay this way. On top of that, I noticed he runs into enemy team at exactly 2 minutes and 30 seconds mark. By, by just sudden Arcane Eagle to my formation, I was able to take down Fiona team that I was losing before. I also had same result with Astral and Darmith, but the true test was yet to come as I was about to face Alamar, who is currently the strongest hero in the game. While I could not win with Astral and Adela, I could see the potential of that team. Shadow Dragon was neglecting quite a lot of backline damage done by Arcan Archer and Arcane Eagle, but my Astral formation could, could easily be improved by removing weakest links. Even Darmuth could not handle Alamar at this point, but if you watched my stream, you know that with replacing few units, I was finally able to destroy the dungeon warlock. More on Darmuth and formations will be covered in a separate video, so make sure you subscribe to my channel to not miss out. Thank you for watching, stay safe, bye!